What's up, guys? Rick from Rick's Rock School here for another episode of Dog Coffee and Guitars. And we're going to talk about the number one amp on the market today, under $200. But before we do, shout outs, of course, a couple of shout outs. Shout out number one, Honey's Sit and Eat, North 4th Street, Northern Liberties, Philadelphia. Guys, if you don't live in Philadelphia, you've never been, you don't know, we have a magical place called Honey Sit and Eat. That is like a fusion restaurant of Southern comfort food and Jewish comfort food. And these two worlds blend together so magically. I, I, I can't even begin to describe. This morning, I'm sitting, I'm getting my coffee at Honey Sit and Eat, and I'm looking, and I'm seeing the menu. And I see on one end of the menu, bear with me here, on one end of the menu, I see pastrami omelet, pastrami omelet. And then on another end of the menu, I see breakfast burrito, your choice, bacon or sausage. Your choice, bacon or sausage. And and I and I'm looking and I say to myself, they they have the technology. They they have the technology to pull this off. I have this idea swimming in my head. I said, wait till the server comes. Let's let's see if we could pull this off. The server comes. She said, what do you have? And I said, ma'am, if if at all possible, can, can we can we take the pastrami from the pastrami omelet and have that. And substitute that out for the bacon or the sausage. Can, can, can we make a pastrami breakfast burrito here today at Honey Sit and Eat North 4th Street? She says, I, I don't I don't see why not. I don't see why not. And and, and my girlfriend is talking to me, and, and advanced Jewish deli equations are swimming around in my head, so I don't hear a word what she's saying. I'm just thinking to myself, pastrami burrito is on the way. Certain things in life do not equal the sum of their parts. Peanut butter and ribs, jelly beans and milk steak. But let me let me just let me be the first to tell you that when pastrami and burritos combine forces, magic happens. And for that reason, Honey Sit and Eat North 4th Street, Northern Liberties, Philadelphia is getting an 11 out of 10, the highest score possible on our dog coffee and guitars rating system. And guys. Hell of a cup of coffee too. Go there, tell them you need a pastrami burrito and Rick from Dog Coffee and Guitar sent you and ignore the puzzled look on the employees' faces. One more thing, fresh clean tees, guys. Most comfortable t-shirts on the planet and with the money you save from clicking my link in the description, you can buy yourself a new guitar. New shirts, new guitar, dog coffee and guitars. Get it all here. Tell them Rick sent you the whole deal. Now let's 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 get down to business. Let's get down to business. Why we're really here? The Fender Mustang LT25. When quarantine started, now I am a Gibson guitar and Fender tube amp enthusiast. Problem is when when quarantine started, it was just it's too loud. I have an apartment here in Philadelphia and it was, it was too loud to fire up that amp all the time without the cops coming and you know pissing the neighbors off and so on and so forth so I go down to Guitar Center and it was it was March 18th 2020 which was really a lot of you probably probably remember like this this kind of the like the turning point was that that day after St. Patrick's Day and it was it was odd it was just like this post-apocalyptic thing was happening and, and the whole deal. And, and I had, to, of course, me, I had to go to Guitar Center. So I, I, I run to the Guitar Center and said, guys, I am not going to go through this quarantine thing without an amp that I can actually play through without the cops coming. What do you got for me? And he says, hey, man, Fender Mustang LT25. I didn't even take it out of the box. I didn't play it. I'm not the kind of guy that's going to play guitar for everybody to hear at a Guitar Center. It's just not my thing. So I said, you know what? I trust you. Lennon down at Guitar Center. Shout out to Lennon, great guy, Guitar Center, Cherry Hill, New Jersey. He also works at Plymouth Meeting. Uh, Fender, just, they made, it's a brand that I trust. And I said to myself, you know, I'll take this. I took it home. I took it out of the box. Channel number one without even touching it. I mean, look. It's that Fender clean. intro to the video it's it's that fender clean tone i mean when i was growing up when i was growing up the we had like the line six spiders it's a really bad digital amps and it just turned me off from digital practice amps forever 
about 30 seconds with this thing and my mind was changed. The game has been changed. The technology has increased. They've figured this out. Now, if you take a look at some of the past Dog Coffee and Guitars episodes, I actually use this thing to practice with. There's a lot of different great channels without even customizing anything. And every one of these channels is fully customizable. You wanna add reverb, you wanna add delay, a flanger, phaser, you know, whatever. You can make your own channels. There's about 60 different save spots in here to make your own. But even if you don't wanna get creative, there are 30 great channels. Some of them are more useful than others. The alien one is, I could take that or leave it. But the Fender Clean is numero uno. Guys, you heard that in the intro of the video. Let's take a look back to Dog Coffee and Guitars episode six to see channel number two silky solo let's check it out Silky Solo channel number two. You don't have to do a thing. Just switch it over to channel number two. You're going to get that sound. It's that Fender Hot Rod Deluxe Crunch that I love so much. But a little bit of reverb, a little bit of delay. You know, you don't want to go over the top. You don't want to go over the top with your lead tone, especially live. You don't want to sound like you're swimming in delay. So just a little bit goes a long way and right out of the box i mean channel number two it gives you just that silky solo i got it fired up you saw it a minute ago you saw slug and slug is coming back keep watching keep watching slug I'm gonna make another appearance but hold on, hold on. <laughs> Silky Solo channel number two. Guys, I mean, my, my, my students' parents, they ask me recommendations all the time for affordable equipment for their kids. I have three students right now playing Fender Mustang LT25s. And I mean, their playing has gone through the roof because they're having fun playing. This thing makes it easy to have fun playing guitar at home. Now, I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying. Dude, you got a $2,000 guitar. Like, of course, it sounds all right. But, but, but wait a minute. Episode four, Dog Coffee Guitars episode four, Harmony and Hendrix. I ran a $300 Epiphone through this thing on channel number three, Blues Lead, to do a little bit of Jimi Hendrix. Let's check that out. <laughs> It doesn't matter what's on the headstock. It doesn't matter what you pay for the guitar. This is this is a good practice amp. This is a good practice amp. We're going to go through all the pros. We're going to go through all the cons, too. There's a couple of cons, some things that I would suggest a Fender to improve on. But before we do, let's, let's go through a couple more channels. This one, channel number six, 
Country picking brings me back to my days in the Dave Hangley band. I did, yes, I played lead guitar for a country band through most of my early and mid 20s. And, and I, I don't regret it. I had a, a great time and I learned a lot. I also picked up, uh, picked up flannels during that time. Uh, you know what? I don't care what anybody says. Leave a comment. Make fun of my flannels in the comments. I love it. Look, flannels and flannel weather, they get an 11 out of 10 on our dog coffee guitar score because let's face it, you know, you wear a jacket too heavy, especially you got to go inside somewhere. You start schwitzing. Forget all that. Flannels, the perfect amount of comfort all the time. 11 out of 10. Okay. Anyways, number six, country pick. <laughs> Up. You got stripes fuzz. They don't want to get the lawyers involved, so they're not calling it the white stripes, but we all know what stripes fuzz is. Oh, man. Look, one more turn. Thrash overkill. <laughs> you get the Dave Mustaine tone in a can. Let's I mean move it right along. Jazz amp. Look. Jazz guitar cheat code part one. Scroll through my videos, find that, learn a bunch of jazz chords that, that look. Got a nice jazzy tone going on. The hall reverb kind of far away. I dig that a lot. There's some that you're not gonna use for much, but they're kind of fun, you know, for like 18 seconds. Octobot, that's this. <laughs> stuff but you know that that's kind of a novelty one but that's channel number 10 octobot keep going along super rock is your ac dc nothing you got just you don't have to do anything to it number 12 super rock you got AC, DC, like <laughs> right there keep going along power punch this one this one i'm going to use for my next coheed video feathers Quick little preview of that. <laughs> Sounds like Koei to me. It's a great alternative rock power punch number 14. If we keep going along, there's, I'm not going to sit here and go through every single one of them, but there's, there's good stuff. There's an acoustic simulator. There's a wah. I can't say enough good things about this amp, guys. Uh, let's, all right. I'll we'll talk about two more specifically. Mythic Crunch, Mythic Crunch. I love Black Sabbath. Anybody that's ever watched my channel knows that I'm a huge Tony Iommi fan. Mythic Crunch is about as close to the Tony Iommi tone as I've ever heard. <laughs> One that really surprised me with how close it does sound. Check this out. BH Brown sound built directly into the Fender Mustang LT25 channel number 24. You got your Van Halen. Give it up, guys. Look, 26, Pink, Pink Floyd. I mean, there's, there's, a, there's a Dark Side of the Moon preset in here. There's just a lot of good stuff, guys. I can't say enough good things about it. Uh, if I was to give a critique to Fender of some of the cons, let's do some of the cons. Uh, I remember as a kid, I had another Fender practice amp that I loved, the Fender G-Deck. If you remember the G-Deck, they had built-in backing tracks that you could play along to. And we're talking 2004. I still see some people online using these things. So they're still around. They're discontinued now. The Fender G-Deck had practice amp 
built into it, like, or, I'm sorry, practice tracks built into it that you could play along. Uh, it had a metronome built in. It had the ability that you could record riffs and store them. And this is, you know, almost 20 years ago. This is not in here. They, and I, you know what, I get it. They, they spent the budget in getting this thing to sound good, but it is a practice amp. And I would say the takeaways are you, the, the drawbacks, if you will, or that there's no metronome. There's no practice tracks, but we can get all that stuff on YouTube right now. So you don't need it. So they didn't worry about it. They didn't put it in the budget, but all things considered guys, this is my favorite practice amp on the market for the price at 149. Look, look for it at Sweetwater, Guitar Center, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. This is good stuff. This is good stuff. I'm, I'm confident, I'm comfortable telling you guys that I'm, I'm sitting here in my little home studio and I'm recording this thing. Before COVID hit, a buddy of mine, we were running a studio in Port Richmond in Philadelphia and we had nothing but tube amps, this huge 40 channel mixer that I didn't know how to use or something like you would have, you would have, you know, ran a live show at a Billy Joel at Citizens Bank Park or something like that. Here I got a tube preamp Fender Mustang LT25 and a computer, and that's it. And everything you hear me do, this cost me $149. So all that considered, with a slight drawback of the lack of metronome, the lack of the built-in practice. And the only reason I even know those things exist is because Fender had done this in the past. All this considered, this gets a nine out of 10. The For under $200, this is the number one practice sample on the market, guys. I, I love it. I love it. Guys, if you have suggestions for videos, send them in. Leave comments. Leave comments. Slug is coming back in a second. Stay tuned. Talking about a bargain under $200. The adoption fee on Slug. When Slug was adopted, 50 bucks. 50 bucks. Buddy for life. He is my best friend, guys. I don't want to get too preachy, but what I will do is this. If you donate to your local shelter, I'm teaching free guitar lessons. That's right, free guitar lessons. You can see it in the description of every episode of Dog Coffee Guitar. Free guitar lessons in exchange, and that's over Zoom, Skype, FaceTime, anywhere in the world. One-on-one -on -one free guitar lessons. You make a $10 donation. Slug will make an appearance. Buddy gonna make an appearance. Yeah, he's excited, he's excited, he's excited. And look, if you decide to adopt an animal after watching an episode of Dog Coffee Guitars, I'm gonna up it. That's a month of free lessons, a month of free lessons. If you adopt an animal after watching an episode of Dog Coffee Guitar Slow, you ready to say goodbye, buddy? We wrapped up another episode. We're free dead. Bye, everybody. I'll see you next time. Dog Coffee Guitars every Friday. There we go.